Hello, hello. I've been having fun <laughs> with the solo raid on stream, and I thought I'd make a very quick recap on solo raid. What the boss does, what to do, what not to do. The compositions that I've been running on my first official hit that was a bit shy of 3 billion damage. Now, here are some key points to keep in mind when fighting Whitesmith, which is kind of the nickname that I gave him for the solo raid boss, as I'm not gonna pronounce that name. No shot. <laughs> So first, the elemental interruption circles are very fragile, even my Miranda can solo them. Always destroy the Argon, which is his right hand gun, not where we're facing, his own right hand gun, as breaking the L gun, which is his left gun, will cause Whitesmith to do double the number of shots with his remaining gun. The guns will also only regenerate once in the entire fight at a very specific timing. When he walks forward after his very first elemental shield, he will stop and regenerate his guns. Once he has gone through that specific timing, he will not regenerate his guns ever again. Even if you broke the very first guns that he had, he will not regenerate them if you do so afterwards. The guns will always target the highest attack Nike unless taunted and do a lot of damage on very short intervals. Hence, you want to either ping pong the shots through taunts, have a very very strong taunter like Diesel for example that can take the shots, destroy one or both of the guns as soon as possible to reduce the kill pressure from Whitesmith, or have a very very powerful healer that can outheal all of that damage through very short burst intervals or very quickly, assuming the Nike can even survive getting shot in the first place. The guns have a core, so you have to aim at a very small red eye on the side of the gun. We kind of nicknamed that on stream the bulge. And that will allow you to do extra damage to the guns through core damage, allowing you to break them much faster and do, well, more damage to Whitesmith in general. The shoulder parts do bonus damage for around 100 million bonus damage when you break them, and they never regenerate. So if you can break them, break them so you can get that 100 million bonus damage from breaking them once. Otherwise, well, just try to aim for the core or something else if you cannot afford to break them at all. As far as I can tell, the grab that Whitesmith does on your Nike that stuns them and creates that QTE that you have to shoot will usually target the highest max HP Nike or highest HP Nike. It's kind of a little bit fuzzy on the detail, unless it's taunted. During phase 2, Whitesmith will pop a lot of orbs. We kind of nickname it uh, Whitesmith putting his balls all over us. But what needs to be remembered is that the red ones can be broken while the dark purple, almost black ones, cannot be broken. They don't exactly do that much damage individually, but it adds up very, very quickly as he's just spewing a lot of them all over you. Uh, also, they seem to do quite a bit of cover damage, so that is something to keep in mind as well. Now, for the Tinkums that I ran, they are not exactly very original per se, to quote Rick and Morty, the worst part about inventing teleportation is that you then find out that you're the last person to have invented teleportation. It's kind of that kind of feel. I was mix and matching comps and everything and started to figure out some compositions for myself. And then people also shared to me some compositions where I figured out like, okay, I can mix and match this. And these are compositions that I had already thought of that someone also thought of and played better or thought of sooner than me. So they work for the most part and, well, they work for me for the most part. You may want to adapt some stuff here and there for yourself if you want to try to mimic them. Uh, without further ado, though, I will show you the teams and I will also explain what the reasoning behind them is. Now, team number one is a very self-explanatory one, kind of like Hans Niemann's chess or the fact that I'm running bunny girls with A2 and a Modernia, <laughs> also a leader. So what happens here is that the bunny girls will keep everybody alive and refund ammunition for both Modernia and A2 so that they can keep shooting longer and longer. They also come with a very hefty attack buff thanks to leader and noir. A2 will cleave basically everything down by staying permanently in her burst mode, uh, mode B. While Modernia just guns absolutely everything down, but she will never get to burst. This is very key. If you burst with Modernia, you will lose out on damage and also on single target damage especially. 
So what will happen here is that Noir will be the one bursting. You can use that burst as well to clear some of those rocks that uh, Whitesmith tosses at you. And you kind of just go back and forth between Noir burst and A2 burst, dealing as much damage as possible and breaking essentially all of the parts of Whitesmith through passive cleave and Modernia single target damage. Now, for Team 2, it's another very famous composition as well. It is Volume, Mast, 2B, Guillotine, and Noise. It's a fairly obvious team because Noise will increase 2B's max HP and so will Mast as well, increasing her damage through her uh, HP to damage conversion. Volume grants crit, which is something that 2B really enjoys. Guillotine also kind of likes the crit as well to some extent. Mast allows Guillotine to enter her Berserker mode a lot earlier because she grants max HP but doesn't recover that HP. Additionally, Noise with her taunt will allow protection on the highest attack Nikkei because she can almost permanently taunt and by manualing Noise you can cancel her taunt as well. Meaning that you can do that ping pong damage that I mentioned earlier, splitting the damage between Noise and the highest attack Nikkei and healing back up through Noise's burst. Now, Miranda, Polly, Snow White, Helm, and Dola may seem like a very weird composition, but it makes sense once you start playing it out. Polly grants a very, very powerful defensive with Polly's line of defense, on top of granting a very powerful attack up buff to Snow White. So the defense buff will allow Snow White to survive until the Helm healing burst rotation, while the attack buff allows you to half the killing pressure of Whitesmith by one-shotting one of the cannons almost immediately. Now, due to running Miranda, you kind of want to have cooldown reduction for timings, hence why Dola is in the team. You want to have that cooldown reduction so that you can burst almost immediately every single time, and Miranda doesn't have that. If you don't run a cooldown reduction Nikkei, you will have to wait out, which could actually end up being very deadly here, as timings are key for Snow White on this fight. Now, for healing, well, you already have two burst two slots locked in, one burst one slot and Snow White as a burst three slot. You want to have a second burst three slot because you want to be able to rotate full bursts. And Helm is the basically prime or only burst three healer in the game, so that's why she ended up in this team. Now, Dorothy, Novel, Alice, Maxwell, Privacy is a team that is fairly obvious, but at the same time isn't. It's a very high risk, high reward team. You have the reload speed from Privacy, parts damage, cooldown reduction, and just raw damage from Dorothy. You have Novel's damage amplification, which when com all of this combined with Alice's just straight up insane raw damage that is also buffed up by Maxwell and Maxwell's own snipe, you have a very very strong comp that can brute force through the entire fight by using a lot of sheer damage, killing both guns almost immediately, well not immediately but very very quickly. So it's a very either you kill the guns before too much damage is done to your team or you lose out early. Now do keep in mind the ball's steady damage by the end of the fight may cause a lot of issues if you cannot minimize the damage early on due to the fact that you're running essentially no healing whatsoever. Now, for the final team, we have Summer Mary, Diesel, Summer Annas, Drake, and Summer Helm, which is kind of like my a bit of a throwaway composition in my case, because I just ran out of things to throw at the boss. So you have Summer Mary for healing, which is a very, very powerful healing once it starts stacking up. Diesel just soaks the hits like a champ. She's absolutely godlike on this boss. Uh, if you time the burst correctly, right? Because at burst level 4, her taunt lasts 3 seconds. So you have to time it so that she actually soaks the hits properly. Afterwards, you have Summer Anes, which is just the main damage dealer. Drake as a secondary damage dealer and fire damage source. Also, her burst allows you to just straight up clear the bombs immediately. Which is really nice. You just do damage to both the boss and the balls at the same time. And then I ran Summer Helm for cooldown reduction, because why the hell not? I basically run out of stuff to put in there, so I just figured I may as well allow Summer Mary to burst rotation as often as possible. Now, as a disclaimer, I know that these comps have been run successfully by other people on different servers, and that these compositions are not exactly very original per se, even though I thought I was onto something with Snow White, but, you know, that's kind of the reason why I quoted Rick and Morty and the invention of teleportation, because then you figure out you're the last person to have invented it. <laughs> well, it is what it is, but... 
I will show you guys the stream segment where I record my score playing these teams. Um, so you guys have a little bit of a feel of how they play out, uh, how it went on stream. It is after a five hour session on stream. So if I sign, sound tired, I am sorry. I was a little bit tired indeed, but you know, I back then I figured why the hell not? I may as well just record at least one hit before ending the stream. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this type of content, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, you know, so that I can know that you guys want this type of content and that I will do more in the future. She need fuck up right there. That is a horrifying pawn. Jesus Christ. That is so bad. Maybe I should just register at least one hit. Maybe I should just at least register one hit. Let's just register one hit and then maybe call the stream or something and raid somebody. Chini, god damn it. Like, don't spread that stupid pawn, please. Oh, that's such a bad pawn. Okay, let's give it a shot here. Sure, but I still play them. Okay, now we get the second one. Ooh, I might actually lose out on a burst. Well, they can break these parts for bonus damage. Ooh, that was a mess up. I should have uh, bursted sooner. I should have definitely burst sooner. So if this team comp doesn't reach... Uh, over 1 billion. We can break the gun as well pretty easily here. If we don't hit 1 billion, we'll just reset and do it again. Because this is for recording a hit. Well, a bit over 1 billion, at least. I don't know if I'll be able to hit 1 billion with this um, attempt. I might actually have to reset it. Well, I did hit 1 billion, so it's fine, I guess. I feel we can hit way more than this, though. The clip is in my Discord. The Alice team should look uh, like that at the start. Oh, I, I'll check it out uh, off stream for sure. White version of uh, Blacksmith. Um, basically, we'll always target your highest attack Nikkei unless, unless you use something like a taunt. So if this piece of shit is not targeting always noise because of her taunt, it would always be targeting the highest uh, attack Nikkei, which would either be guillotine or 2B. Which is not exactly a result that I would like to see either. Uh, 
That's the problem with this piece of shit is that the kill pressure is so great because it always targets the highest attack Nikkei or the taunt Nikkei. So you have to kind of ping pong her ag on the aggro. That was very unfortunate uh, timing, but that's fine. However, we should be good here now. We should be past the most annoying part of this. He should have barely any more kill pressure now. He should barely have any kill pressure left over. Now he has no kill pressure left over, so now he can just destroy the parts. Maybe I should have healed there, but... Maybe I should have healed there. We'll play it risky, though. We'll play it a little bit risky here. We're gonna play the risky here. Oh no, I should have used. Uh, I should have used. Uh, I should have used volume there. I mean, 400 mil, I guess. I would need to really improve on this. Okay, so we should be able to... Barely... Barely not enough again. Okay. I really want to deal with these uh, stupid rocks though. Ooh, this is going to be very tight, isn't it? There we go. Oh, make it in time? Yes, Miranda, good. Okay, we might... It's down. Okay, so Snow White is back to four. Okay, that's the gun down. And both reloading, really. What are you doing? Why is Snow White not killing? Come on, Snow White. Kill, 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 kill. 
No, Miranda, don't die. Miranda, kill back up, please. <sighs> Fuck off. Oh my god, fuck off. We lost our source of healing. So now Miranda is gonna die. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. I'll just take this score for now. We'll just take this score. I could have gotten way higher than that, but freaking Helm had to die. Oh, that is so unfortunate. Oh well, whatever. It is what it is. It is what it is. We're just recording one hit uh, here. Okay, so I just need to focus a little bit in the sense that I need to remember my timings on the second phase. First phase timings are more or less down, so... Timing is here. So now he's taunted, now he's going to shoot at Diesel. Right, so now he sh will probably be able to... Maybe... Yeah, I had the time to get Diesel, nice. Okay, so now he's going to grab Diesel over uh, Summer Anis, that's fine. Now he's going to do his second little jump in. Why did you target Drake, you piece of crap? What a piece of jump! Seriously! This means that my Nikas are taking unnecessary damage. This means that my Nikas are taking a lot of unnecessary damage here because of that. Okay, so now we need to time this. I might have been a little bit too late on that burst. May have been a little bit late. Or maybe not. It should be taunted. There we go, Diesel soaks. Now we really need to get rid of that gun. We really, really need to get rid of that gun. Okay, there we go. Now we have Diesel pump again. And now we try to get rid of the second gun. <laughs> oh my god. He still has a lot of kill pressure. He still has a lot of kill pressure, by the way, which is really insane to me. Well, I guess the uh, 2000 ammo diesel, yeah. Infinite ammo comp? Eh, I mean, yeah. I, he has influenced a lot of people. <laughs> I really like uh, Summer Mary's rifle for sure. But yeah, this is like the kind of throwaway-ish comp. Uh, now the real issue, the real concern is the next comp, which is the Alice comp. Yeah, hopefully we can get this. It really is within. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, 
Oh, I got hit a little bit too many times here. We have just eliminated most of his kill pressure. Why are you bombing twice though? I got the fucking iron balls. Oh, the fucking iron balls. Oh, whatever. The fucking balls. Whatever, we'll just record this. No! Oh my god, really? The fucking balls! Oh my god... Fucking ball sack, I swear to god. Yep, that's death. Whatever, we'll just record this. Oh. So close. So close to being good. a good run. Oh well, whatever. Yeah, I'm just too tired. I just need to. I just need to take a break. I've been streaming for way too long. Yeah, 0.28%. I probably, I probably could do like way more than this. I just need to improve the. Um, I just need to improve uh, the runs and everything, and maybe polish a few things, get a few skills here and there, and we'll be good to run. Uh, but yeah, that that's been a five-hour stream though. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 